The UEFA Champions League semifinals are less than a week away, and what a treat we have here as we have the Milan Derby in the semifinals between AC Milan and Inter Milan. We're going to preview that in this video, but also on our channel right now, you can also see our previews for Real Madrid against Manchester City. So head over to the channel after this one to see that one, but let's get right into our preview for the Milan Derby. Drop a like if you find yourself enjoying, and subscribe to the channel to see more content just like it. You may remember Adrian at Drunk Guru on Twitter as well from our World Cup streams, but he's back here on the Fine Margins YouTube channel for Champions League semifinal previews. In this one in particular, we are going through the Derby of Milan here, Inter Milan against AC Milan. I think that it's safe to say we're a little surprised to see both of these teams at this stage of the competition. And I think both will feel a little bit fortunate to be able to avoid both Manchester City and Real Madrid in the semi-final bids. But both teams have earned their positions here. AC Milan went through a very high-quality Napoli side to get here. Inter Milan went through Benfica. And uh, we see Goon here in his lovely Inter Milan jersey. Just showed it to me. It's an Adriano jersey. So a little bit of an old-school one here. But how about for the modern day? Are you surprised to see both these teams here in the semi-finals? Uh, absolutely. I was not expecting AC Milan to get past Napoli. Uh, they no. were better than expected. They were a bit lucky and they did the job. Um, they kept their nerve and uh, Napoli didn't. That was basically the, the difference to me. Um, as far as Inter is concerned, uh, Inzaghi keeps having a job. It's basically because they're still alive in the Champions League. Uh, he's been on the chopping block for a while now, but he uh, just keeps uh, getting through the, through the rounds and uh, that's what's keeping him employed. Yeah, I think the draw went favorable for Inter along the way here, with all due respect to Benfica. As far as Napoli, uh, I was very quick to bet Napoli to win the Champions League after the quarterfinal, semifinal, final draw. I uh, was a little bit disappointed to see them bow out this early. I guess their full focus now will be, or has been, on their massive lead already in the Serie A table. So disappointing for them. But we're here. And unbelievable to have the uh, Milan derby here in the semifinals. What's very interesting for me to see is that there's no away game here both teams will be essentially i mean they're both obviously playing at the san siro obviously with the crowds there's going to be a bit of a difference but uh familiar territory for both teams so no additional edge really in the home and away side of this one but based on the form that we have seen from the league and from the european competition so far the odds to qualify from from pinnacle for this one we see ac milan at plus 119 inter milan at minus 144 uh, your initial thought, thoughts on those odds, and uh, do you think it's fair to see Inter as decently decently favored here against their their city counterparts? Yeah, a couple of days ago we could have gotten Inter from around uh, 125 minus 125, but uh, last couple of days it's it's been moving, and I think it's going to keep going in that direction. They just have a little bit more. Um, they um, have the ability to. I, I guess they they've kind of given up. Once Juventus got their points back, they've kind of given up on the chance of uh, getting a Champions League spot through the league. So they're completely focused on this. Um, I don't know if uh, AC Milan still have dreams of that or not, but uh, the only way either one of them gets a spot is by winning the Champions League. Um, AC Milan has gotten better once their uh, goalkeeper, Magnan, got back into the swing of things in, uh, in the winter. They were struggling before with, uh, with him out injured. But uh, I I think as a, as a complete package, Inter is, is a little better, and they have uh, they have that finishing that uh, AC Milan does not at times. Yeah, a, a little bit more up top for Inter. That's maybe where they see the edge here. And like you said, there's been a lot of steam going towards uh, the way going towards Inter ahead of this matchup here. And I, I guess for a certain good reason here. Obviously, the threat for AC Milan does come from the left flank. Uh, Rafael Leal and also what what Teo Hernandez provides this team they've been getting some extraordinary play from Tomori this season um, still not enough for Southgate to <laughs> recognize Tomori in any international capacity which is uh, a mystery to many uh, English people like myself here but kind of does uh, yeah so <laughs> of course so uh, what 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 do you think it will take here from AC Milan to be able to come through and do a job like they did against Napoli, against Inter? I think discipline is the biggest thing. They uh, they were really disciplined and they did not have a big letdown once uh, Giroud missed that penalty in, uh, in the second leg. They just yeah. kept their composure. And it, it was really surprising to see Napoli unravel in, in the first leg. 
uh, they started, uh, they gave up the goal. They started giving, uh, picking up cards and just completely lost the plot. Uh, AC Milan got under their skin and uh, absolutely frustrated them. Um, they regained it in, in the second leg, but still uh, Milan were, were the more disciplined team and uh, frustrated them to, to no end. Yeah, the, the frustration part was certainly there. They were completely locked into the game plan by Pioli for that one. Uh, kind of getting the feel around AC Milan this season from the fan base. Haven't been too fond of Pioli as they were to winning uh, the Scudetto last season. But uh, I, I think part of the reason why, maybe not quite to the degree of Inzaghi, part of the reason why Pioli is here is, well, he does have the league title to go back off. And also, they are still alive in the Champions League right now. From an inter perspective, we just spoke about AC Milan, maybe AC Milan looking to more frustrate the opposition. What is Inter going to have to do to enforce their will in this match and utilize those better finishers up top and get the most out of what they have? Uh, patience will be one thing. They uh, they do have a lot of possession and they can uh, they can get the ball wide. They need to uh, be aware of the speed of, of Milan in transition. Uh, if they can contain that, they uh, they will put a lot of pressure on the, on the Milan defense. Magnan's been really good um, a shot stopper, and he, he commands his, his defense. But uh, Inter has the ability to to go at them from from different angles, and uh, and basically pepper them with shots. Uh, it's it's a matter of uh, being uh, disciplined and uh, and taking advantage of, the, of their opportunities. And from a betting perspective, here I, I showcase the odds to qualify here. Overall, from a game standpoint, for the first leg in particular, having it on my screen on the side here, you can find Inter around plus 160. You can find maybe best price 165 and around plus 200 on AC Milan, around plus 220 for the draw here. From a betting perspective, is there any way you're looking to take advantage of this of this draw? So with the away goal being uh, gone this season, um, I think the first leg will, will be uh, very cagey. Both teams will look not to not to blow it in the first leg and then do whatever adjustments they need to do and, uh, and take it in the second leg. I ended up betting uh, Inter to advance uh, minus 129. And uh, I think that price is still going to go up and we, it might be minus 150 by kickoff. Um, I, I just don't see Milan being as, as fortunate in getting the decisions and doing the same things over and over that they did against uh, Napoli to, uh, to frustrate uh, Inter as well. All right, so interesting perspectives there on this incredible matchup here, as much as uh, perhaps they're a little bit fortunate to have been able to play each other rather than Real Madrid or Manchester City. I think they match up very well, and it's going to be obviously with a derby in uh, uh, such a high magnitude event. It should provide a lot of entertainment to the fans watching this one, more particular the second leg, I think, where maybe it can get a little bit more free flowing. Whereas the first leg, I think I kind of agree with you. It's going to be very cagey, very dicey. You can find the under two and a half right now in the minus 160 range. So not expecting a ton of goals from this one. Both teams, I think are going to be looking to pounce on perhaps the limited amount of chances that they have, but that will do it for our champions league semifinal preview for the Inter Milan AC Milan matchup on the channel right now as well. You can catch our preview for Manchester city, against Real Madrid, so make sure you keep it locked on the Fine Margin YouTube channel. Head over to our channel page right now to find that one or go to the end screen. But for future Champions League and soccer content in the betting in the betting space, please make sure you are subscribed to the Fine Margin YouTube channel. It is the soccer content division of the Hammer Betting Network. Drop a like on this one if you enjoyed, and we will see you next time for more from the channel.